Here's the second video of my word clock. Added some more features. First thing I did with, in the code, which you can't see, is I moved a bunch of the uh, tables to code space because I was running out of RAM and it was clobbering itself. Uh, first thing I did is I added a new button to the back. So the third button's being used now. It's a color mode. Right now this is mode zero. But if I press the button, a little one comes up here, tells me this is mode one. And what this one is, is it everything's the same color and then every minute it scrolls to another color. So it's orange now and the next minute it'll be maybe green and maybe red and so on. Mode two is a is a red all the time. So each minute it's always all red. Three is for yellow. Four is for blue. Five is green. Six is purple. Seven is orange. Eight is pink. And nine, which you can hardly see the nine in there, is white. And then back to zero again is the multicolor mode. I'm going to move over to the red. Now I'm going to show the next button here that I added. It's a brightness, and there's five brightness levels. Here's brightness level two, which is a little bit dimmer. Three, dimmer yet. Four, a little bit dimmer. And five, a little bit dimmer. It's probably pretty hard to see on the video, but it is getting dimmer. And then back to one, which is full brightness. And go back, move back to the modes. I kind of like mode one the best. Four colors. Fast forward here to one minute before ten and show the next thing that I'm going to be working on, which is some animations that will happen on the hour. Here's the countdown. And go over to 10 o'clock. Then there'll be some type of animation here.